So let's talk about if error. So I'm going to go ahead and type equals if error e4 divided by e5, comma, no div divide by 0, close parenthesis. You see that's equals if error open parenthesis e4 divided by e5 comma quote no divide by zero in quote close parenthesis So we see we have equals if error e4 divided by e5 comma quote no divide by zero end quote close parenthesis and it's really important to note these are double quotes not single quotes you can see with nothing in here it automatically says no divide by zero so if we put 15 over 2 it goes to 7.5 which is right if we put 10 over 20 it goes to 0.5. We put 20 over 10, it says 2, which is correct. Now if we put 20 over 0, we get no divide by 0, which is exactly what we would expect. So you can kind of see how this would be valuable. We could also change this to 0. Suppose we were looking at something like, I don't know, a tax form or something where it was divide this value by that value unless that value is 0, then we would get this after some values have been populated. So that's if error. Now this also works if you have something like, let's actually just change this from e4 divided by e5 to just e4. And I can show you that if this is, say, equals sum, and then I don't put anything, it's an error, but it just shows a zero here. If we put equals average and put in 34 comma cat, it doesn't work because that's a problem, but we just get an error here. Or we, we don't get an error here, we just get a zero. So that's how this can be really useful. It can really keep your spreadsheets clean. Now I'd like to talk a little bit about if. Now I would like to talk a little bit about if. So if we type equals if, we see it says if test, if test, then value, otherwise value. What does that mean? Well that means that if we type if, parenthesis, say we're looking at e5 greater than 34, then value, we can put double quote more than 34, end quote, comma, double quote, not more than 34. Close the double quote, close the parenthesis, equals, it says not more than 34. If we change this to 36, more than 34. If we put negative 5, not more than 34. Well, what happens if we put fox more than 34? This illustrates a limitation of if. It doesn't, it's not really smart enough to make the differentiation between numbers and characters. So it's something to be aware of. And this is where you would use data validation. You would change this to a number and make it say greater than or equal to or equal to or not equal to something just pick a value say you know your range is going to be something between negative 999 and positive 100,000 put reject input save and it says it doesn't like that so let's put 20 and it's happy if we put goldfish uh, it doesn't like it. So that way we can use this with our if statement and not have any problems. We can It'll work the way we expect it to. It's also important to note that we can make this value or this value anything we want, including other formulas. So let's change this. Let's change this from str a string to say sum 
open parenthesis a2 colon a7 just because close parenthesis the enter sign well it's not more than 34 so that's what we'd expect but if we change this to 65 all of a sudden we get this value so you can see how you can use that in different places to get different outcomes and that if statement can be very very powerful and this is also interesting because this is kind of a first look at computer programming because this is something that is used in computer programming is our if statements it's a logical control structure